Hey, what's up guys? Paul from Paul's Carts here, and I just wanted to show you guys another cylinder head that we're now going to offer on the site. Um, this is similar to the 399 head uh, that's on the site, um, except this one's specifically made for the 72 to 76 millimeter bore uh, bottom ends. Um, this head, uh, the, the difference is, is the port size. Uh, this head is what I call max ported. I don't know if that's an actual term, but uh, basically it's, it's ported beyond the limitations of the casting. Um, it's ported where the uh, um, oil passage has been popped through. And then also in the back behind the uh, port, uh, it's ported um, and epoxy has been used to uh, um, go past the limitations of the stock casting. So um, if I take a, a snap gauge and put it down the port and expand it um, in the cross-sectional area at the smallest part, um, measuring side to side, uh, this is 28 millimeters. <clears throat> and if we take and we look at the port here, um, this is 29 uh, point something millimeter. Um, <clears throat> this would be the cylinder head you would want to use if you have a larger bore cylinder head and you can utilize the CFM requirements. Um, this isn't recommended for a stock bore stock stroke application. I would still recommend the, uh, you know, the flagship 399 head. This head does come with the valve train of the stainless valves. Um, this comes standard with the uh, 60 pound <clears throat> dual coil springs and the titanium retainers with the stainless valves. It also comes standard uh, with the bronze tube in the oil passage <clears throat> after the breakthrough. And it also comes standard with the epoxy port coating. Um, you can just, I mean, I have big hands. Uh, that's, that's not a secret. And I mean, this port is big uh, really the video doesn't do it justice um, you know this this is this is a massive port um, I can you know wiggle my thumb in the cross-sectional area here um, it's a, a really big really high flowing cylinder head um, this is pretty much all the CFM you can get through uh, stock casting um, you know which is really, you know, even for like to say the 266 bore, which is uh, the three inch stroker billet, special alloy stroker with the three inch um, sleeve installed in the Tillotson block, that's, that's a 266 cc. So when you do, you know, uh, the, the CFM requirements um, based on RPM at say, you know, 9,000 RPM, um, you only really need about uh, 90 CFM. Now, you'd also have to calculate for the over 100% volumetric efficiency. So, you're probably going to be looking around, you know, anywhere from 95 to 110 CFM, um, you know, requirements on that uh, CFM capability of the cylinder head. Now, if you put this cylinder head on, say, a stock bore, stock stroke, it's not that it won't work. It's just that, um, you know, you could lose some fuel signal due to the uh, drop in velocity uh, for the gain in CFM. It's just like anything, even with the camshaft, where you sacrifice some bottom end um, to put the uh, power up in the top, like I've shown with the water in the bottle in a past video. Um, it's the same with a cylinder head. You know, uh, when you increase that, CFM you drop in the velocity and it's really all about uh, creating the head that's best for your engine um, you know if somebody um, you know takes the time and builds the head right and does the math and you know knows the requirements that head is going to perform um, at its peak ability um, based on you know your setup um, you know and some people will say well uh, you know, I have this engine and I need it for a small track or I need it for a big track. Um, you know, and they think there's a difference. 
and the way that head should be built. And track size is not um, something that would depict how the engine is built. Um, either way, you want to be building the engine to make the most amount of power. Um, you definitely wouldn't want to say, oh, well, I'm racing on a small track. I want to limit the power of the engine. So you definitely always want to build the engine for the most amount of power possible um, to making it operating as efficiently as possible. And then just use your gearing uh, to dial in uh, the engine for your use. Um, you know, so the only thing that, you know, port size does affect is, you know, or would be a factor in is uh, bottom end volume. Um, and, and what it needs to support that basically like, you know, uh, you know, you, you only need so much CFM per cubic centimeter of, you know, bottom end size. Uh, you know, after that, it's just unutilized and, and the drop in the port speed will definitely be reflected on the dyno graph as a um, not so much power under the curve uh, you know, looking graph. So, um, in the three inch bores, uh, 72 millimeter stroker in the three inch bores, that's what this head was designed for. Um, you know, and, and when you do, this head is available on the site, at pulsecarts.com. And when you do purchase this head, um, or any of the heads on my site, um, you know, one of the the key factors of my cylinder heads is the fact that they're custom made to order. So you have the ability to send me an email or shoot me a text message and tell me what size bottom end I'm building that head for. Um, without that information, um, I can build the head. I do build the heads for a lot of times without that information and they're just basically built around um, you know, the, the valve size, I'm using the valve size to support the flow of the cylinder head now, um, cause there is a relationship there. But if you, you know, just like if you have a stock size carburetor, <clears throat> you necessarily wouldn't want a 3228 setup per se. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, everything has a relationship between them, each other, the carb, uh, the valve and the cam and the bottom end size. So, uh, you know, it's, they're, they're definitely a cylinder head being as multifunctional, um, as it is <clears throat> definitely, um, has to be tailored to the engine to be as efficient as possible. Uh, taking one of these cylinder heads and putting it on a bottom end of uh, a stock predator 212, you're definitely going to see a power increase, <clears throat> but when you're at the level of racing that, a lot of the guys in the go-karting field are, um, you know, that top of the pack is separated by, you know, tenths of a second per lap. So, or even hundredths of a second per lap. And uh, <clears throat> the difference between the first and a third place could be the difference between that head being tailored to your build and that head being tailored, you know, just as a general uh, cylinder head. So definitely take advantage of that. If you guys are ordering off the site, um, just make sure you guys reach out with an email. Um, I've been having a lot of great feedback. Uh, you can read some of the reviews on some of the cylinder heads and engine packages I sell. Um, you know, it's, it's a very common tale that I get where I get that, you know, uh, that text or that phone call or that video clip or that picture after a guy has purchased a, a engine or a cylinder head or a camshaft or something like that. And, you know, now he's, you know, running first place consistently or first time he takes it out in a new race, you know, he's just got the win or, you know, and. You know, it, it's just backed by mathematics. <clears throat> you really can't beat building something specifically to your engine.
And uh, that's just something that gets lost in translation out there. Um, you know, it, it's not that more is more is worse or less is more or anything like that. It's really just building it for the actual requirements of the engine. And that cannot be beat. And I'll tell you right now, with the experiences I've been having with sales and reviews, um, it just, the math doesn't lie. So if you're absolutely looking for the best, need the best in that A1 competition and just not being able to break out of that top three and keep getting that win consistently, give me a call, 781-492-7358. <clears throat> Or email me at paulscarts at gmail.com or pick out a cylinder head on the site at paulscarts.com. Uh, they're also available on eBay. And then after you pick out the cylinder head you want, shoot me a text message. Um, <clears throat> if you get it with the head gasket, um, I can scribe that head gasket to the cylinder head, um, unshroud the valves to the edge of the gasket, and really... Um, customize the ports and combustion chamber shape um, and just really optimize your setup based on your actual build and that's how you win races it's not a guessing game it's a science so the man behind the science is yours truly Paul from Paul's Carts and uh, I continue to bring you guys the absolute best in racing products so if you guys need a cylinder head valve train valve studs um, Rocker arms, head studs, side cover, billet rod, billet flywheel, board block, anything you guys need. It's all available on the website, paulscarts.com. Uh, great prices. I specifically search around and price my stuff less than the competitors on items that are mainstream. Uh, and I also carry large quantities in stock of custom parts that aren't available anywhere else. So check me out at paulscarts.com. Also, some of the products are available on eBay, on the eBay marketplace, and you can contact me directly uh, through email at paulscarts.com, or the email is paulscarts at gmail.com, and, uh, or, you know, shoot me a text message at 781-492-7358. So this is the max ported head, it does come with the valve train, um, you know, everything that the 399 head comes with but with just the bigger ports for the bigger CFM requirements of the big bore engines. Max ported with the bronze tube inserted and the epoxy behind the ports. Ported out bigger than the casting um, will allow. Um, so this is above and beyond any of the uh, you know porting that can be done without these uh, modifications. So uh, I'm glad to be a part of every build. I'm really proud of that proud of the results and proud of you guys how you guys are doing out there um, about to start making some big partnerships with some big companies some big name people out there that have been reaching out so those products will be available on the site uh, soon to come um, so this is Paul from Paul's Carts and until next time guys have a nice day